Hi there. Um, in this video, I will explain you how I succeed to create my uh, first uh, native iOS uh, mobile app and I will as well uh, show you how I did it and um, on uh, GNU, Linux, uh, Ubuntu. So the first thing that you need to know is actually uh, in order to create a native iOS mobile app, you cannot do it straight away with uh, GNU, Linux, uh, Ubuntu. You need for that uh, to use an emulator who is going to uh, emulate uh, a Mac OS. So in my case, I'm using VirtualBox. So VirtualBox is a software free software in order uh, to use ISO file, so image of operating system in order to create virtual machines. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't have created a Mac OS virtual machine without the help of this uh, given video, which is explaining how to install Mac OS in VirtualBox in, uh, in Windows or Linux, because this uh, on this given uh, video, they are giving you the two files which are needed in order to install the operating system. So the ISO file of uh, former Mac OS version plus the settings that you need to uh, that you need to set. So I'm not going to explain how I succeed in installing Mac OS on my virtual machine because this video where I insert the link uh, over here is uh, really well explained and it works. Okay, so without being a techie guy, I just succeed to uh, follow this eight minutes video and I swear it works. Um, I can show it to you because that's exactly the ISO file that I used. So I can in fact start on. My, uh, my Mac OS right now, just to let you know that I tweak a little bit the configuration that they are uh, advising you in this video, because in order to run uh, the next software that you need in order to create an iOS app, which is uh, Xcode, uh, four giga of uh, RAM wasn't uh, sufficient for me, so was the processor, so I needed to uh, tweak the configuration here in order to put three processors and to have as well uh, the, uh, the RAM, uh, which is at 10,000 uh, mega. So uh, let's start my virtual machine. So this is how it will work actually when you have uh, your, your Mac sets on. So, oops, sorry for that. Okay, oops, so it's gonna run it like this so here i'm just switching on uh, my machine okay once it will have switched it on i will have an access to my uh, to my mac os so that's uh, that's the first thing um just uh, for it waiting to load uh, you will need as well xcode so i will explain as well what you need to uh, do so here this is just my, my mac os so just logging on it so this is the first thing that you will see once uh, your Mac OS will be set on your virtual machine. Next thing that you need is Xcode. Unfortunately, on this given operating system, I mean, as far as I know, you cannot update it to a more uh, updated, let's say, operating system it won't work. At least I tried to do it and it did not work. So maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe it's not possible to do it. But in my case, I stayed with this given image is a file. And then in order to install Xcode, normally uh, what you do is that uh, you go on the, the app uh, market. So you go probably, oops, no, not Siri, it's uh, Launchpad. Oh, okay, anyway, I went uh, over here on Spotlight and then you look for Xcode. And if you look for Xcode, like, oops, sorry for that. Xcode. Um, if you look for Xcode within the marketplace of Mac, you will see that you cannot install the last version with uh, your operating system. You need to be up to date. So what I did is I went on developer.apple.com and um, so I had to register there. And once I was registered there, I had the possibility to install a former version of Xcode. So in my case, I installed Xcode version number seven that, uh, that I have now. Uh, over here and uh, it's thanks to Xcode version 7 that I succeed to uh, create my first uh, my first mobile app and in order to install Xcode number 7 what I did as well so oops what I did as well is that I had to use this given line of code so I had to use the shell of uh, Mac OS in order to give the possibility to be able to install any uh, any app that I want. So I needed to click on system preferences. And when I was on system preferences, by uh, using this given uh, command line that I was showing you, I had the possibility to get this given line telling me, okay, you have the right to allow 
apps installed from anywhere without this i wasn't able to uh, install the apps through either the app store or through either identified uh, developer so once you install this given software which is named xcode in my case it's xcode version number seven you get a backend such as the one that you have in front of you right now uh, so it really looks like android studio it's a bit the same uh, the same concept behind uh, i did, didn't educate myself from scratch what i did is i went on a website which is named openclassroom.com which have uh, courses which are under Creative Commons and I attended a course similar to this one in which I get educated to what is uh, iOS. So once uh, you get this knowledge about how to create uh, an iOS app, what you can do is that you can go over here, you can say, okay, I want to create a project. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to create a project. Yep. Um, waiting for the project to be closed. Mm -hmm. um, and I clicked on a uh, new and new project. So I'm going to call it Floss Marketing School. Um, I'm going to just select a single view app. Okay. And Floss Marketing School. Okay. Like this. And uh, just going to keep it like this and click on next. Uh, just to let you know, the resolution seems funny here. Uh, you can fix that out. Thanks to the video on YouTube that I uh, that I showed, it's just that I did not apply it yet. So um, here is my app that I just created, which is uh, called Floss Marketing School. And if I want to create my first Hello World app, all I need to do is to go here in Main Storyboard, and here you get yep, you get your iPhone. So we don't see it uh, very well here. So I need to adjust this, and I need to. Adjust that a little bit. So as I said, my resolution is not good. And here you can just pick up the component that you want. So in my case, I'm just going to pick up the label. Yep, the label. Put it over here and I'm going to say, hey, hey, floss, marketing, school, reader, welcome. Okay, and yep, here I have. So I have my label which is set on my on my app, and uh, if I want to know how my app look like, I can just click here on uh, launch. Uh, in my case, I'm gonna launch it on. Uh, oops, so flat. Uh, let's go for an iPhone five. I'm just gonna click on this. It's gonna emulate. Uh, my app in an emulator. So as for Android Studio, it takes a while on each time and this while depends on the RAM and of the number of processors. So that's why I tweak I, um, my virtual machine because if with the previous RAM, which we had four uh, giga, I couldn't do uh, much. So that's the reason why I put it to 10, uh, to 10,000. Um, so here I got my emulator. So it's, it's starting. And in a couple of minutes, we will see our first uh, mobile app, uh, iOS mobile app and native, thanks to um, a GNU Linux environment with VirtualBox, with uh, NISO file, and uh, as well, the, um, as I said, the Xcode development uh, program. And that's it. So here I get my first iOS app created. Thanks for watching.